Green letters on a white background, the Zero Project Cutting Edge Technologies. Technological solutions from the ICT sector and assistive technologies remove barriers for persons with disabilities. Big technology providers are increasingly making sure that persons with disabilities are part of the development cycle of standard products. But total inclusion is still far down the road. David Banners in the interview. I mean, there's always going to be niche needs. Small companies are, are, play a vital role in recognizing and addressing those needs. Um, I think to believe that the large corporates will offer everything to everybody forever is probably not the right way ahead. We need to build upon that foundation, that platform that they're creating with extra products. One assistive technology which builds its service upon already existing technology is Frag Tobi. This tool focuses on simplifying internet search process for persons with intellectual disabilities. The virtual assistant Frag Tobi asks questions that are easy to comprehend and show only one result at a time. A quick view on the virtual assistant. In the research phase we found out that many people, especially people with disabilities, have difficulties to use a common search engine. It is very overwhelming, there is a lot of advertisement and there is a lack of support during the search process. This is why we came up with the idea of Raktobi, an easy interface to a common search engine. Assistive technology not only enables persons with disabilities to complete certain tasks, but one of its most fundamental purposes is empowering people to do more. As we are still in an early stage of deployment, we don't have feedback of a broader audience yet, but we already received some qualitative feedback from our users, like that the app is very fun to use, it motivates to learn how to navigate through the internet, and it helps you to access the information you need. Again, David Banners. One of the things that assistive technology does is it reduces frustration it reduces barriers. Now, when you know that you're going to be able to engage in a task, whether it's learning or working without barriers, you are much more motivated to take part. I think the daily experience of uh, a barrier, uh, barriers in, in the world has got to become, reach the point where you begin to turn away from trying to deal with them, especially as maybe as you get older. So a barrier-free environment facilitated by technology and assistive technology is in itself incredibly motivating. Assistive technology can decide whether a person is in or excluded. By creating the application Vemka, Escola de Gente gives people with and without disabilities the opportunity to be informed when, where and with what accessibility features cultural programs are taking place in cities across Brazil. Claudia Werneck in the interview. We have been practicing accessible culture in Brazil for 18 years now. We have produced accessible books, accessible theater, accessible campaigns and helped develop public policies and law in favor of an everyday accessibility practice. When this started to happen, we realized that persons with disabilities had no knowledge of a great development, more accessibility in many cultural productions. We created VMCA due to this reason, to unite those who produce accessible culture and those who need accessible culture to fully experience their citizenship, their leisure, their life. In 2020, a new challenge has presented itself, COVID-19. While the pandemic is difficult for everyone, it is a much bigger challenge for vulnerable groups. The obstacles grew. At the same time, the support often went out of reach. With the pandemic, persons with disabilities began to experience perhaps the greatest exclusion in the history due to the lack of accessibility online. With that in mind, we realized that the responsibility of our application was increasing and we made two decisions. To create the MCA network, inserting cultural productions from poorer regions, disseminating the online culture in these places where there are more persons with disabilities and at the same time to open a space in Verm CA so that accessibility professionals may offer their service.
I think what we're learning from is that to deliver in times of crisis, we actually need to be much more flexible and we need to be planning for those problems. Regardless of the pandemic, in many cases, poverty is a related condition to disability. The World Report on Disability suggests that 15 of the world population experience a disability. Out of these 15%, 80% live in low-income countries, where they are faced with poor health conditions, less education and lower income. Often, a disability is a cause and at the same time a consequence of poverty. A possible way to break this vicious cycle is through education and vocational training. We're seeing people able to learn much higher order skills, skills that are important uh, for, for going into, into work uh, in, in a very positive way. So that relationship between developing skills, knowledge and understanding for the jobs that are currently available. Because we're going to see some jobs disappear through, as a result of automation, uh, as a result of technology. But new jobs will open up as a result of technology. And we need to help to ensure that people with disabilities can take advantage of those new jobs. This ambition to make education equally available to everyone is shared by the Austrian Training and Consulting Institute Equalizant. It focuses on training courses and education for the deaf and hard of hearing by exclusively teaching in Austrian Sign Language. One challenge they wanted to overcome was to offer training online. Matthias Fenkart speaks in sign language. Our team was looking for existing e-learning apps or platforms, but it seemed that nothing was able to cover our needs to work with sign language. Either they used just written texts only, or implementing videos was pretty complicated. It is our aim to teach as individual, flexible and neat orientated as possible. That is our wish. We wanted to use the advantage of technical progress so the deaf people are able to have fair access just like hearing people do. That is why we decided to create our own e-learning games. Our e-learning is used inside of our courses, but participants have the possibility to use them outside of our class as well. We are convinced that higher language competencies mean higher chances to get a job at the first labor market. We discovered an increase in our participants' motivation to learn new content at their own pace in their first language. When integrated in the working environment, there is also a need for support in everyday procedures. The Belgium startup Lichtwerk supports employees in complex production processes by implementing smart, assistive augmented reality in their workstations. Lieven Bossuit in the interview. The Augmented Reality Workstation offers cognitive support to operators that are low-skilled or that have a disability. Our solution projects digital work instructions directly on the work surface. Thanks to our solution, operators get very intuitive visual guidance, feedback and confirmation. Low-skilled operators or operators with a disability really feel supported by this innovative technology and can complete complex manual processes with success. Our customers have a double-digit increase in workflow efficiency and product quality, and the operators are less stressed and experience more autonomy and empowerment. Assistive devices can improve the quality of life, but the lack of availability keeps them out of reach for many. Rone Tran, co-founder and CTO of Advisor, had to experience this firsthand. Ronit Ran in the interview. My father was diagnosed with PSP, a rare disease from the Parkinson family. Due to the illness, he couldn't communicate. We have tried for a few months to find a solution without success. Unfortunately, my father passed away. After a while, we discovered that the solution we were looking for did exist, but it was too late. This was the beginning of Advisor. Advisor was founded in 2016 in Tel Aviv, Israel. It's an artificial intelligence-based digital platform that helps persons with various disabilities to find the assistive technology they need according to their personal profile of capabilities, needs and goals. Offa Shani, CMO Advisor. I had no idea that this world of assistive technology is so rich and full of solutions that can be life-saving to so many people. I feel that opening the market and enabling people to move towards a consumer-oriented position is needed process in our industry 
and I look forward to work with you partners and colleagues from all over the world to promote this cause. The assistive products industry is currently limited and specialized, primarily serving high-income markets. But the evolution of assistive technology into everyday products has already begun. The classic example is yeah, somebody who is blind really uh, needs the emails, their texts, their information read out to them. But equally well, if you're getting an email whilst you're driving or you're uh, in public, actually have been able to just have it spoken out to you, when actually you shouldn't be reading a screen, it's actually really beneficial there as well. So that's the great thing about assistive technology. Yes, it benefits people with disabilities, but actually most of it benefits all of us. A smiling man positions a package 